In good health, the practice of using talcum powder or other baby powders for feminine hygiene has been called into question over the past few years. And Dr. Frank McGeorge is here now with a new study yeah. that could be a little bit more reassuring. Yeah, exactly. So this is the study actually. It was published in JAMA and they used basically data from four other studies and it involved about 250,000 women. Well, nearly 40% reported using baby powder for feminine hygiene at some time in their life. After roughly 11 years of follow-up, the number of ovarian cancers among women who never used powder compared to those who used powder was essentially the same, leading the researchers to conclude that there was no statistically significant association between the use of baby powder and ovarian cancer, which should provide some reassurance. So then how should women who have a concern about this react to the study? Yeah, well, you know, it does provide a certain amount of reassurance if you are somebody that uses powder or talcum-based products um, for feminine hygiene. But I would say in general, if you do have any concerns, you should either avoid the products altogether or use non-talc-based powders. And there are many like cornstarch, for mm -hmm. example, that are out there available commercially that does not involve talcum. All right, good advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doc.